Canyon. <laughs> Don't be a quiet baby, it's just me! Oh no, it's not going to be very sweet today. I'm worried about uh, Tully. He's going to give to Peter pressure. Can you stop him from leaving cabin? Why? Please, don't you trust me? Oh, uh, um, I have a fact away for you. Did you know that leaving our young children in your room absorbs bacteria? It will help prevent colds and more of viruses. That was a lie. The fun fact away to remember this. People actually believed in the 1500s. How embarrassing. Who would believe that? <laughs> you even went to doctor in 1919 who caused a surge of people believing it. <laughs> Anyways, you know it smells like a well onion up the room? You! It's been a while since you asked best, right? Uh, could you smell, could you smell you before you even came into the room? Yikes! So, can you stop being a totally from leaving? I know he has cabin fever, but this is ridiculous. It will be impossible to stop a grown man from leaving. Please. We don't need another one stalking the hallways, tapping on the windows, crying through the radio. You have the sudden urge to scream. <laughs> Why do you think I've been using your mouth to get around? They're just all running to her. Don't make me tell the cabbage about you. She can be as mean as potato if you get on her bedtime. You're kidding, she's great. Anyways, when the time comes, just tell her to you, you care about him and don't want him to leave. Even if it's for me, okay? You can trust me. Now if you excuse me, I need to work on some new ice skates. They're made out of butter slices, so I'll get to skate around the frying pan tomorrow. Later. Okay, <laughs> when he says she, I'm assuming he means the ghost of Mariah, but also Loki, he could be talking about Karen. Ah, your mind finally manages to forget everything that happened. You fall asleep again, still ravenous. Oh, this is Nightmare of you. Oh good, another strange dream. No, 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 I just saw shit. <laughs> that was a real nice feature. I just keep screwing up with it. Okay, so strange dream. A fox is collecting payment in your living room. You despise him. So you put two dogs at the bottom of a sack, then add six chickens on top. The fox smiles at you and leaves. At some point in his journey, the fox will eventually open the sack as the dogs tear the fox in half. Filled with such loathing for the fox, you gave him the only things you had for food. All of those chickens. As the snow piles up outside, you begin to eat whatever you can find. Pillowcases, candles, leather. This does not sound very beneficial. One day you wake up and you have nothing left to eat. Absolutely nothing. Just an insatiable hunger. A few days later, you go mad and leave the cabin, completely ravenous. The nearby tree looks like charred meat. Your iron teeth cut through the tree bark, tearing your gums apart by the splinters. Your mouth fills quickly with blood. Days later, a deer gallops by. The first creature in the woods to see your corpse. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, no art for that one? <laughs> cool. Something smells terrible in the living room. Someone puked in a corner. You wipe it up with a rag to save them the embarrassment. Ah. Uh, all right. Good morning. Good morning, little guy. Well, Anatoly, what's your decision? I barely slept last night. Her whispers came through one of the holes in the floor. Is it actually Mariah, or is it one of the freaking Chompets? She kept telling me to come outside. Mm, we don't want to rush you, but one of us puked last night. So that's what that smell was? Anatoly. My patience is wearing thin. You have one hour to make a decision. Why? Why so quickly? Hmm. Because I'm not waiting any longer. Ah, you can see the glint of Karen's knife under her dress. When did I learn about this knife? I don't know, but now it exists. I guess has to watch out for that knife. The group disperses. Tensions seem to be rising. You have one hour to kill. What are you gonna do? Um, 
I guess I should go talk to Anatoly. Try to figure out. Anatoly looks pale. Thanks for coming over. He seems comforted by your presence. There's a lot going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gregor told me he's heard Mariah. I'm sure Karen isn't being honest with me. Have you checked out the basement door closely? Every so often, I can see her peeking out at me through the holes. I really don't want to drown outside, but at least I won't have to have her tormenting me anymore. You know what's in the basement, don't you? Um... No. Well, you aren't kidding anyone. You're just lying to yourself. Please get away from me. Ah! You call everyone together for a meeting. I don't know what's in the basement. The Chompettes mentioned hanging out there. Mar I, I don't think Mariah was in the basement. Anatoly, you okay, little guy? Anatoly looks pale like he's going to pass out. Anatoly, have you made a decision? Yes. I'll help you all out. I promise. Thank you, Anatoly. Big tears roll down Gregor's cheeks. But I'll miss you, big guy. I'll miss you, little guy. Humph. <laughs> Thank you, Anatoly. I know this wasn't easy, but it's for the best. Karen, you could at least pretend to feel a little bad. Karen? Yes? I... Gregor looks at you expectantly. Did you want to say anything, Anatoly? You say nothing. Uh, I... Goodbye, Anatoly. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, little guy. Okay! Well, isn't this fun? See you soon, little guy. I guess all we can do now is wait. Good night. Karen goes to the bedroom to sleep like absolutely nothing is wrong. I... I didn't tell him the truth. Gregor is getting choked up. I didn't tell him. Missing him already. Oh, Gregor curls up on the couch for the night, turning his back to you. You shut your eyes, quickly falling asleep. You hear a scraping from the floor. Oh, it's just a piece of bread. I really felt like it was a demon. I am gonna hide. <laughs> you explain how this isn't a good time right now. This is no laughing matter. I'm worried about Gregor. He's as tall as a tree, but as dumb as a brick. What's the root of that? <laughs> no cornbread classic. You're being very unpopular right now. That's <laughs> a tree reference, get it? <laughs> Anyways, you need to protect Gregor from the red-haired woman. Cabbage called an emergency job at meeting and told me to give you this mission. Watch out for that knife and protect Gregor at all costs. You got it. <laughs> it's the easiest you can do, right? You tell Brad that pun didn't make any sense. But it did! Hold a and I'll see you around. Brad hops away, squeezing himself through the mouse hole with a small pop. You fall asleep thinking about what Brad told you. You have a strange dream. It's lying on the table in front of you. You take off the glasses first, partially cracked, and set them down next to the workbench. Working the saw, you wrap the cuts in old newspaper. Some of it gets soggy immediately, so you begin drying the cuts with the towel before wrapping. Much better. You hear something approaching, so you clench a fist and get ready to strike whatever's coming for you. Yeah, that's just... That one was pretty... pretty blatant. <laughs> that wasn't a dream. Well, we have meat. Well, you wake in a completely different place. Did you sleepwalk or? 
Ah, I'm not aware that I'm doing it. Okay. Everybody's still asleep. Am I possessed by the Chompettes or something? This would be a nice surprise after our yesterday's events. We decided to cook breakfast for everyone. Cutting each slice fairly thin, you brown each side in the oven. The smell is unique. Karen runs into the kitchen. What is that smell? Give it to me, now. You don't argue. Karen grabs a cutlet, burning her hands before bringing it to her mouth. Ugh. She hungrily devours it, barely chewing. She grabs another cutlet off the plate and eats it. I thought she was concerned with rationing. Gregor wakes up from the couch and heads into the kitchen. Da 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 da. Oh god. Already? Gregor looks conflicted, but he succumbs to the hunger. They always do. Gregor eats his food in a few bites, carefully grabbing a second cutlet. The tears start streaming down his face, but he doesn't make a sound. You join them in the meal, quickly consuming the meat on the table. We can think straight again. We'll be out of here in no time. No need to ration anything now. Karen is sounding more determined than before. I... I'm going to lie down on the couch. Try to keep this food down. Gregor crawls onto the couch, turning his back to you. Karen leans in to whisper. I'm glad Mariah and Anatoly are gone. They were stopping us from bonding properly. How did you get so good at... it? You tell Karen. After one bite, it just made me feel whole again. Even with the nightmares, it's worth it. It took a few nights, but I fought back. And now it's all I can think about. I read the book on ne necrop necropsy. The text is ancient, but the diagrams are beautifully drawn. Very descriptive. How many years did it take you to perfect that craft? You tell her. <laughs> yeah, right. I used to tell Mariah that you weren't funny, but that's not true. Sorry about that. You've grown on me. Karen pauses, deep in thought. You know Gregor can't swim, right? He'd be the next to leave, but he doesn't stand a chance outside. They always seem to come back, right? In one way or another. Will I wait for him to come back? Karen hands you a vial of liquid. I think you know what needs to be done. This is a strong anesthetic. Don't ask me how I found it. I want you to slip this into Gregor's mug tonight. This is for the best. He won't feel any pain until he wakes up. All you have to do is stand back and let me work on him. This request is beyond extreme. Will you do this for me? Mm. No. <laughs> Fine. Save that for a rainy day. I have everything set up by the couch. You don't have to watch. The restraint should be easily... Easy to apply myself. Gregor's strength is a farce. Gregor? Hi! Hey, Karen. What are you doing? Untie me! Oh my god! This will all be over soon, Gregor. Um, stop. Um, Gregor has turned silent. Can I, um, do something, please? You leave her alone, going into the bedroom and crawling into bed. Anatoly slept in. You fall asleep almost instantly. Wait, wait, wait. I was supposed to protect him. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? That's not protecting him. What the fuck? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, that's a very nice drawing of you. Oh, hey, there's little Mariah. <laughs> no, I think I'm still in the nightmare, Karen. Thank you very much. You were having a nightmare. Thanks for letting me practice last night. I think I did a great job. You made us all some breakfast this morning to celebrate. Breakfast? With what? <laughs> That's a surprise. Gregor already finished his. It took a few hours, but he caved. Um, come on, let me show you. Um, you get out of bed and head to the living room. Oh! 